Heart of a Woman. Okay, guys, we're back here again and um, on set, Unika Mars, and we're talking about faith. Little faith, if that's all the faith you have, mustard seed faith, but we serve a big God. So, Unika, we talk about so much, and who just came in, girl? I'm sorry, all of this plenty, but you guys will see the real one, yeah? Monica, you're a single mother, a businesswoman, a prayer warrior, you're a mighty woman of God, and I'm not just saying that because you, you're sitting here. I've, I've seen it. I've, you. I've, you, you've trusted God, and you've seen God come through for you. But before, something mm -hmm. I really want to talk about, before we talk about being <laughs> single, there's a story you told me about how you got your land. I always find that that was such an awesome story, man. You know, <laughs> just share it with us if you don't mind. Okay. Your faith. Good. Mm -hmm. um, I, about two years ago, mm -hmm. or it could have been more, about three years ago, I've been trusting God. My children and I have been trusting God for a property to mm -hmm. put the, to house the store. Yeah. And one day i bought the newspaper and um i saw there was this property for sale mm -hmm. and i called and the gentleman asked right away when would i want to see it mm -hmm. when when would i want to view it so i was like but why is the man not telling me the price he trying to make me view this place and not tell me the price yeah anyway something deep down within and it's, it was probably holy spirit saying viewing is free why mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. so i told him i said okay it was uh, we spoke on thursday mm -hmm. friday um i told him i said okay i'm available for an appointment on friday so i went to view the house i had no down payment there was a house already on on the property, on the property yes right. there was a house on the property mm -hmm. when i went to view it i saw where my store could be there you saw so that you know it's vision. about yes. vision yes. right yeah. And I said, God, if this is your will, let it be mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. And that was the Friday I did the viewing. The Saturday, <laughs> I always laugh when I share this testimony. I remember the lotto was four point something million. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. And um, I told my dad, I rushed off after work, told my dad, um, I said, Dad, you know, um, the lottery is four point something million and mm -hmm. I really want to buy this property. And he said, well, everywhere in town closed, you could probably go to Glen Road. I said, okay. So I drove off while driving in front of KFC, Scarborough. I heard a voice say, Oneka, in whom are you trusting? Yes. And that was it. Mm -hmm. I went to... Um, the ice cream shop, B's ice cream shop with my boys. Mm -hmm. We had ice cream and I drove straight home because, you know, I was like, no way. Yes. You know you're not supposed to be playing lotto, yes. but you know, you're still trying to take a little chance. <laughs> Just, yeah. Right. I went home, told my sister about it, and she was like, no, Nika, you had to be kidding. Who would get the glory? Mm -hmm. Anyway, long story short, um, Sunday I spoke to my pastor and ask him to agree with me in prayer for this property. After that, I took my boys once more, mm -hmm. you know, to view this property and we held on to the fence. And I told them, I said, we, I want you all to claim, we're gonna claim this property. Amen. And my younger son, Israel, Israel looked at me and he was like, mommy, you want to buy this property? And I was like, yes, son, because I could put a store at the side. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He was like, okay, mommy, we are buying that property. Amen. So I said, yes. okay. Yes. And we bought the property. The bank financed it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was like God saying, sit back and, and watch, me, watch work, me work. Right? Yes. And that was a... That was f crazy faith mm -hmm, for me mm -hmm. because uh, my friends, a few of my friends were like, Anaka, are you crazy? I mean, yes. you crazy, are alone, crazy faith. you are a single parent. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, mm -hmm. wh why you want this burden? But I knew what I wanted yes. and I want, of course, to leave an inheritance to my children. Mm -hmm. I saw mm -hmm. it an, as an investment mm -hmm. and I said, God, I need you to come through with this yes. for me. And, and he did. So, you know, even as a single parent and, you know, it, it goes back to 
as a single prayer parent you're thinking society owe you something, something. Mm -hmm. society doesn't owe us anything nope. we need to no. get up and get we need exactly. to trust god exactly. right and not trust society yeah you know yes. so that is my that was my so crazy long faith. and short that is the property you are now definitely you have your home and you have your business definitely you have your business yeah ain't god good girl definitely yeah, so you know, god came yeah. through he came through for you me. know and um that cut my face went from about 70 to over 200 <laughs> amen yeah but you know talking about leaving a legacy Leaving a legacy is not just with material things, eh? No. You see, what we're doing, teaching our children to pray. Which is very important. Very important. Praying with them. Yeah. Letting them pray through situations. Um, parents love to hide things. We're going through a, a situation. You don't want the children to know. Let them know. Let them know what you're going through. Let them pray with you. Pray with you through the situations. I do believe that. And when you get the breakthrough, they will know that it is God. Definitely. So that then when they are faced with situations, they know, they how, know to how to handle it. They yes. know. And that is a legacy we leave in. Definitely. Because yeah. my sons, if we face with a situation, we pray. Mm -hmm. My little son would always say to me, Mommy, God have that, mommy. Yes. My older son, same yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, we would yeah. everything we would pray about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because I would have instilled that in them, mm -hmm. because we 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 pray and we we trust in God. We need yeah. a new vehicle. We trust yes. in God. Amen. You know? Amen. So. And and I always believe it's not to uh, like somebody was saying to me, girl, I, I want a loan. You know, I want to do this, and but with such doubt. Even mm -hmm. if you pray, it's, you hear something with such doubt. And my husband will always say, who do you serve? Definitely you know, pray with confidence. Confidence, confidence and, and knowing. go boldly before the throne. Definitely. The thing about that too is learning to wait on God. Definitely. Oh my <laughs> learning God. Learning to wait. <laughs> learning to wait is a major problem we have. Eh? So we trust trusting, we pray. Well praying. But waiting. waiting. So as we're talking about waiting, <laughs> Onika, you're smiling. <laughs> as we're talking about waiting, we know that you're waiting. We'll be waiting for a lot of things. But you're waiting, and I, I hope you don't mind if I say it. You're waiting for a mighty man of God, a husband. Yes, I am. A husband that's going to be a, a, a father to your children, yes, and a man that is going to stand with you. So just share... You know, I think we have about five minutes, yeah, to young women as you wait on God for our husband. Okay. Um, what I would say to young women is to wait, wait and trust God. There are times that the temptations would come mm -hmm. because I am not, I do not think for a moment that I'm a super Christian. Right. I am still mm -hmm. young in it and mm -hmm. you know I am trusting God with everything within me. Mm -hmm. Right? Temptations mm -hmm. will come but we have to learn to resist the temptations yes. because yes. if we sin mm -hmm. it means that we would block our blessings Amen. and Amen. because you're excited yes. well for me I am excited about getting my husband and mm -hmm. you know I, I i can't wait to celebrate yes. you know to and i will celebrate to definitely you yes. know so it's like um why not it mm -hmm. is worth the wait it is worth right it, it is yeah. not about sex it mm -hmm. is sex is not my first priority mm -hmm. sex mm -hmm. should not be the first priority what mm -hmm. happens after the sex is over exactly right you have a life so eh? definitely yeah. so you want somebody who fear God, mm -hmm. who love God with mm -hmm. everything within him. Mm -hmm. He's passionate about who God. Love God before you. Definitely, yeah. because if he loves God, mm -hmm. definitely you have as, no as issues. As a friend of mine say, uh, inside. Definitely. And, and, and I always share with, with single women or women in general, it is an awesome thing when I hear my husband in the shower and he's praising, he's in the shower and he prays him. And he praise in his God. I remember there are times I say, honey, you call me? He said, no, I, I just praise it. <laughs> you know? But in, there's something about that that makes me feel secure. 
Definitely. It makes me feel secure because it says to me that he puts God first. Definitely. And it's not like, you know, we saying, well, once you have a man that fears God, everything is perfect. Oh, no, 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 no. He's flesh we, and blood. Definitely. He's flesh so and blood. We, yeah. a man that fears God, it means that we de he deals with situations differently. differently exactly. Right? We mm -hmm. would pray about situations mm -hmm. and there's mm -hmm. no perfect situation. No perfect right? situation. No so perfect marriage. Definitely. Yeah. We just yeah. need to work on everything mm -hmm. and it is mm -hmm. so important to wait, wait and yeah. you know celebrate as you wait for your anointing yeah, of and celebration exactly. and excellence and, 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 and also I believe to taking care of yourself definitely preparing yourself for this man of God that he will send for you because we have a lot of sisters that say oh waiting for a husband but what are they what, doing what in are the meantime doing? What are they're you not doing? loving themselves no. I enjoy every moment of Ex my life exactly. I go out to dinner mm -hmm. by myself mm -hmm. I go out to dinner with mm -hmm. my boys mm -hmm. so it is not that I'm in a desperate situation, situation. Yeah. you know I I know mm -hmm. when my husband comes I would appreciate him yeah I would love him yes I would you know so I for me it, it, it is an exciting time in mm -hmm. my life mm -hmm. and I I, I want to encourage the single woman out there wait wait, wait on God, on God. Yes. wait and trust him because yeah. his timing is the best timing the and sometimes timing. we may think what we want is what is good for us mm -hmm. and god mm -hmm. knows mm -hmm. that at, there are, at times it is not what he desires for us so when we wait on yes. him he will give us just what he will mm -hmm. grant us the desires of exactly. our heart and he knows exactly what you need definitely yeah, he knows exactly what you need definitely so you know guys i i just want to share to you know as we're winding up that waiting on god is it's a it's a truly a blessed thing to have that patience and wait on God and He truly gives you the desires of your heart. Definitely. It's not your timing, it's God's timing. So Nika, it is a blessing, <laughs> my sister, to have you on set with me and you know we share so much together. We talk a lot and God bless you and I can't wait to rejoice with you. I'm rejoicing with you all now. Definitely. But it, in will be soon. Soon. Oh, it will be yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. In the name it of Jesus. Be. In the name of Jesus, we declare it. So, yes. you know, if men watching out, they fall in ready, don't come to Anika. Eh? See. Wait, um, the thing is that I'm trusting God. I've been trusting God for a spirit of discernment. Amen. So I'm not worried Amen. about that. See, serious <laughs> inquiries only. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for viewing Heart of a Woman. And again, um, we go to our Facebook page and let us know if you like the program. Tell us what you want us to talk about. You know, just give us some feedback. We always want to bring you something that exciting. So, God bless you from my heart to yours. Bye bye. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Clothing and accessories provided by Afro Gypsy Nook, located at 28th North Oldfields, Lowlands, Tobago.